Should I? Should I not? Hmm. I've decided to reinforce it on the sides <clears throat> as well. 10 mil foam, sort of shape to size, shape to size. And then with a heat gun, you can actually heat it up and it, it can be bent. Two little squares over here, just so this corner doesn't bend as much. And like I said, right there at the top. The way I do it now, and I think it's actually, it works really well, I've done it before. You put a little bit of tiger seal or any other adhesive not too much because obviously we don't want extra weight then you sort of spread it stick it on tiger seal is brilliant because it's really really fast so literally within an hour this will be ready to be covered what i found in the past is that when you just put it into whatever you want to reinforce it can lift a bit it can move and stuff like that so it's better to just glue that physically and we know that tiger seal you know it's 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 tiger seal, yeah. Um, yeah, there's really not much to sort of to say. It's looking good so far. I'm not sure what what does it weigh. So far, I haven't weighed it yet. I want to do all the reinforcement, and for the reinforcement, it's going to be simple. I'll just put a single layer, because all we need to do is literally just cover this foam, so it basically bonds and it's in sort of in two layers. We don't need extra extra super strong stuff and obviously lightweight so wait a little bit and then apply reinforcement So all the reinforcement work absolute wonders so next day as you can see i did show it to you before but just a recap 10 mil foam shaped to sort of like this kind of a bar so to speak bit of foam here here and right at the top it's proper stiff if you remember before it was quite flexible now look i'm lifting it from one corner yeah worked worked really really well so now what i need to do is i need to put the plastic screen in somehow somehow find a way to mark where to cut on the inside because obviously once the screen is in we don't want to see the inside as cool as kevlar looks we want just the screen then cut it and then i need to tidy all the edges as well and once everything is done, we can literally just fix it to the car and it should be good. 72 hours late. Well, I think now it's time to glue the plexiglass in. Again, like I mentioned before, this one is done by ACW Motorsport Plastics. 
Uh, brilliant screen, really thin, probably the lightest one on the market. It's four mil. The boot is magnificent, if you don't mind me saying that. Um, I did cover it with uh, three coats of clear, uh, basically UV protection and everything. Um, it's all dry now, it's all been trimmed. I'll have to trim it again after it's all glued a little bit on corners just to make sure it fits perfectly fine. But yeah, super solid. So now we need to apply some adhesive. Uh, the only adhesive that I have is this one, Total Sense 180 um, Direct Glazing. So basically that's enough for windscreens and it should be okay for that. So now, yeah, clean this up a little bit with uh, acetone or something, apply a nice bead of that, leave that dry overnight. I might actually introduce some rivets, black rivets, just on the sort of on corners, just to make sure it doesn't come out. Yeah. Simple as that couple of weights top and bottom yeah the boot didn't distort after which is a surprise I honestly thought that it will distort but no after all the reinforcements I mean look how neat the the window just sort of sits in it exactly how it was molded um, there's a tiny 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 bit over here where it's not as flush but I don't think that's a problem at all is a quite a nice thick bead and before you say oh you put too much weight well this thing is 400 grams probably and i've used less than half so 180 grams <laughs> but you do need adhesive right um and i honestly i hate when people just use lots of uh, rivets everywhere around just looks so untidy i have nice small black rivets i might use like i said in corners we'll see we'll see how how solid it is when it when it dries but it should be okay because i mean windscreens you don't actually see them with rivets do you this is the same stuff so let's wait until tomorrow by the way guys just a quick friendly reminder if you don't mind go down into the clicky section and just click like click like and leave a comment let's beat this algorithm of youtube let's push the content up so more people can see it for you it's half a second of your free time it will mean a lot to me so it's dry and it's solid but i'm a bit disappointed it's heavier than i thought it's 4.6 kilograms I guess everything adds up but saying all that I'm not going to use the rubber which would have put the total weight of the previous one to uh, nine and a half kilos so effectively we're still saving almost five kilograms of weight I mean every little helps right um, it is what it is um, but yeah I guess even the lightest of uh, windscreens from ACW still weigh something so let's trim a few bits and pieces um, and try and fit it. I'll be using push latches for the top. I'll show you in a second. So here we are, I present to you the Kevlar boot using a skinning method. 
it worked out almost better than I thought. It's super stiff. I want to say it's super light, but it's not super light. It's still four and a half kilograms. I guess a lot to do with, um, with the glass and maybe those fixing points. I don't want to wait now because I don't want to get upset. I reckon maybe that's another half a kilogram just for, for the hardware. Um, but it's still lighter than the other one and Kevlar to complete the look. Sometimes it's just not 100% worth it. A lot of people might think, oh, Kevlar, carbon, whatever, your car is so light. No, it doesn't really save you that much. Oh, it's steel, yes. Let me show you how it's supposed to attach. Locate one, locate two. Ta -da. I think it looks really cool. Literally four things that left to make out of Kevlar to make full Kevlar Clio. Doors and rear quarters. Everything else is already carbon Kevlar. It's fantastic. Um, well, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of making my car not so lighter. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. By the way, guys, if you want to support my channel and if you like what I do, why not buy a t-shirt or a hoodie? The link is in the description where you can find one.